All right, here we go. This is a demonstration of Motion X version 21. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a custom map or more accurately access a map from a, another source that's not built into Motion X GPS HD. So, uh, again, in this case, we're going to use uh, version 21. This is the latest version as of this recording. And you can see we've got uh, the map came right up. I'm using an iPad mini. 64 gig LTE. So I want to take a look at the built-in maps. Um, right now you've got a display uh, on this version of road maps, which you have uh, Bing and Motion X, Apple and Google displayed, some terrain maps, again uh, Google, Bing and Motion X, satellite type maps, Bing, Apple and Google, hybrid maps, Bing, Apple and Google, Marine experimental maps, NOAA. Now you also see a flag down here for custom, and this is uh, where your custom maps will live. But I want to point something out real quick. Um, when you're looking at these maps, your choices here basically are indicating uh, what the capability of that map selection is. In case up here you're looking at Motion X, and the key is this icon right here. Um, this guy indicates that this is downloadable for offline use. And you'll notice the Bing and Google, uh, these are not downloadable for offline use. Only the Motion X maps are. This is a change that happened at uh, version uh, 19 to 20. When 20 came out, they eliminated the downloadable Bing maps uh, for licensing reasons, etc., etc. <clears throat> now, within the custom map field, and I'll get back to this uh, in just a moment, but to add custom maps, uh, it's a pretty simple process. You need to have the, the map server URL, and there's a ton of them available. Um, I'll post a link in the video where you can access tlcfaq.com, and there'll be a list of some of the ones that I use and pointers to some of the other ones. But let's, uh, let's take a look at where we are right here. I'm going to go ahead and select Menu, Setup, and my choice over here, Custom Maps. Now you can see a whole list of custom maps in here. This was blank when I first started. So these are all custom maps that I've added in. And you can see there's quite a few of them. I'm going to show you how to create a new one from scratch. Now I've already uh, copied a URL that I created uh, just to avoid the typing in the video. But again, you'll have to type this out uh, or do a copy and paste. So I'm going to select new. And I want to name this. Let's call this... Uh, tlcfaq.com for fun and then in this next line you would uh, type in what the URL is in this case I'm going to paste uh, a URL now this is for a USGS server uh, and uh, you may have just seen behind the scenes here this map start to populate this USGS topo map uh, something that everybody kind of wanted in uh, Emotion X before. So I'm done, except there's one thing download map for offline use. Uh, you need to hit this toggle and you get this warning right here. Make sure that you can uh, you know, use these licensing wise. Of course, you're probably going to hit OK. Uh, and now the green light's on. I can download these uh, for offline use when I'm out of cellular coverage. So I'm going to hit done on the keyboard so you can see the map starting to populate. You could even zoom in and zoom out uh, to get uh, an idea on the reference map. Once you're uh, completed with this URL and it's all good and you're seeing the map render, you can save that. And now down here at the bottom, you'll see tlcfaq.com uh, in the map list. I'm going to go back to my main map page. And in the map layers, remember we have a custom flag over here I can now access that map now you'll see all of the ones that I had listed in the setup screen are also now in the available screen so let's pick the TLC FAQ map you'll notice down here it has the downloadable icon uh, so that is set for download capability um, let's, let's zoom out a bit now one thing to note not all map sources have all resolutions in other words uh, right now we're at a zoom of about uh, 80 on this. And this particular topo map has quite a range of, of zoom capabilities, but you'll find some of these maps don't zoom in or out all the way. Um, that's a limitation to the map source that has nothing to do with Motion X. That's just what's available. Let me uh, take you over here. Um, this is an area near Bodie Ghost Town. Let's go ahead and zoom in up on this. We went there uh, not too long ago. 
and uh, created some various waypoints. Now this particular topo map has contours as you may see in the video um, and you can see some of the uh, waypoints that I've dropped down here with the yellow flags. Um, that's zoom 14, zoom 15 um, and you can see it's still rendering here as we scroll. Um, boom, zoom 16 goes blank. There's no data for 16 or 17 or 18. Um, the USGS only has up to zoom level 15, which is a 24K map. So um, that's just the way the source is in this particular uh, uh, provider, in this case USGS. <clears throat> now one of the other features they've added uh, is map rotation with uh, two fingers, which is kind of nice. Um, one of the other cool things that they updated was the measure tool in Motion X. It now gives you latitude and longitudes of the points that you're measuring from. Just kind of a nice little, nice little feature there. So we can measure from here to here, and we know it's 5.24 miles, and uh, what the latitude and the longitude is. Some of the other kind of cool features is just kind of dress this up. Some additional screen and screen lock features available here, but most of the same stuff that you're used to. Just a nice clean uh, interface uh, as usual on this map. Um, so for all the people that complain for all the long time about Motion X not having topographical maps, your wish and dream has come true. Um, you can now get all the topo maps that you want, and they are all offline uh, cacheable. Um, so uh, that's it for now. Read the article uh, linked, and that'll give you much more information about how to create uh, different uh, mapping sources and, and access those. Uh, so we'll see you soon.